Well, this time of year, we see all kinds of hazards and the reasons that we need to stay safe. Of course, the summer sun, the pools, even summer pests, and most importantly, the brown recluse spider. Now, joining us today from Action Pest Control is Keith Smith. It's great to have you Good back morning. here. Okay, so now we were looking at pictures, you know, teasing this segment that's coming up, and I've got, I've got goosebumps, I've got chills. These things are not fun to have around. Are we seeing more of a problem with these right now? Yes, we, we are this year. Um, I'm not sure what's causing that, but they're typically pretty active in the summertime, and we are seeing a lot of activity this time. Really? And so the summertime is when we see these most often get into our homes. Where do they like to hang out? They like uh, damp areas and particularly dark areas. Uh, they like to harbor in cardboard boxes that have been stored for a while. They obviously get into areas where that is not hampered very often. They are nocturnal, so typically you won't see them during the day. If you see any during the daytime hours, you typically have a few, a few around the house. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. so that should be an indication that if you see these guys during the daytime, you need to do something about yeah, it. Okay. Correct. So are they dangerous? Now we know that they bite. Well, we heard the horror stories, and of course, you know, I mentioned one of the most harmful pets, pests, rather, that you can have around. How dangerous are we talking about here? Well, they can be dangerous. Um, we hear the horror stories about people getting bit in some of the, the most, the more severe bites, the ones involving necrosis. Um, but only about one out of ten people who get bit get bitten by a brown recluse develop those kind of symptoms. Uh, and that's usually depending on what kind of venom dose they get. Now, is there a certain kind of person, like uh, young children, um, elderly? I mean, is there somebody who might be a little more susceptible to yeah. that? Yeah, anybody young, a, a small child, or someone who's got infirmed health uh, are typically at more risk for those kind of incidents. And so if you see one, is it automatically going to attack you, or is it something that it's not really going to get aggressive unless you provoke it? They're not really aggressive. Typically the bites that, you, that we encounter involve when somebody, they get in someone's shoe uh, that's dark and they, and they put their shoes on, uh, or they are in a piece of clothing and they put the piece of clothing on, they get bitten that way. They're not actually, you know, or even getting in the bed at night if one happens to be in the bed, you can get bitten that way, but typically they're not going to come after you. Okay, so this, okay, so this kind of reminds me, putting on clothes that have been, you know, uh, put away for a while, shoes. Uh, so I'm thinking that people who go to yard sales probably need to be really careful whenever they pick up somebody else's belongings that could have been stored for a long time. Yeah, they love cardboard boxes. Typically the ones that I find when I'm moving stuff in the garage, I'll find, find them in a box, things of that effect, because they do like that damp, moist area. And so garages, maybe basements, attics, that's typically where you're yeah. going to see them. Yeah. If you do get bitten by one, what's that experience like? Do you feel it immediately? Is it something that just kind of eases up on you? It, the bite is completely painless. Um, if you're going to have a reaction to it, you'll start to seeing, see redness in 6 to 12 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to develop necrosis, uh, it'll have the, you'll see the symptoms in about 48 to 72 hours, and it'll be get, the redness will go into a purplish kind of stage, and the, the skin can deteriorate. Wow, so this is something that you probably need, you need immediate medical attention for. Right, that's correct. Um, and so this happens, uh, you get the, the, the attention that you need, but you say that about one in 10 folks usually are 10, how many, I mean, how much do you see like a really bad problem with this, maybe even death? Not often. That's very, very rare. rare, very rare, yes. Okay, so your term of pest uh, service that you offer, now we've talked a lot about this, I know mm -hmm. that it handles just about any pest that you can have in your home, mm -hmm. are brown recluse spiders included? Yes, yes, they are. It does require more inside visits though. Okay, and something else, some more good news that you all have, you just opened up a new branch? That's correct. So who are you serving now? We're now in Jasper, Indiana. Okay. We just opened the branch about a month ago. Uh, we, a company called Blessinger's Extermidol merged with Action, and they're part of the family now. Okay, all right, so if you see a brown recluse spider, you know who to call, then you can call Action Pest Control, and your Termapest does take care of that. That's correct. All right, thanks so much for thanks. joining us. We're coming up next, we'll look inside the newest issue of Evansville Living Magazine. We'll be right back.